Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Immortal Empires campaign where we're playing as none other than Carl Franz. Last session was extremely eventful with a very tremendous and hard fought battle that allowed us to take Helmgart, after which we marched on down to Eilhart, where with an auto resolve battle, we were able to take it and crush the secessionists. That means Reichland is entirely under our rightful reign, and we can continue our expansion. But first, as you might imagine, with such a tremendous effort last session, there are a few names to assign. Folks, I've been seeing your name suggestions in the comments. I've been setting them aside to assign in the very near future. This weekend has been a bit crunchy, so I'm sure you can imagine it's a little bit harder to pick and choose and assign. But I felt like these two names in particular were so very just fresh in our minds, just so very important to commemorate the events of the previous session that I wanted to get them in right here and now. So let's first take a look at the Heroes of Helmgard, without whose consistent and accurate supporting fire, that battle for Helmgard may well have been lost. But let us not forget the individuals who held the enemy in place so that the heroes could slay them one after the other. Let us not forget the Zweihand of Helmgard. A reference to the two-handed sword in the real world, the Zweihander, but in this world, this is a unit of great swords made of noble stock from minor families under Sigmar's rule, where the Zweihands are a military order descended from these families, known for charging into the midst of battle and holding the line until the end. After their stand at Helmgart, they've been named the Zweihand of Helmgart. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love the names that are coming through, absolutely love some of the backstories that are coming through, and I especially love when they tap into either the lore or, of course, our own personal lore, the story that we're making in our conquest of the world, right? When it taps into events that happen in, in, in the game, oh my goodness, just beautiful stuff. So thank you all very much for your suggestions, and folks, just want to mention really quickly, of course, if you've been enjoying this series, if you want to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving those likes and comments down below. I look at the number of likes and comments to get a quick read on exactly what people are interested in watching on the channel, what I should do more of, less of, faster, slower, so it makes a direct impact on what you see on the channel. So again, if you want more Total War Warhammer 3, if you want to see these series continue, likes and comments go a very, very long way. Uh, beyond that as well, of course, if you are not yet subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. If you want to see more Total War content from this channel, it's a good way to stay, you know, up to date with it. And don't hesitate to join the Discord either. Lots of Total War fans in there, multiplayer gaming, single player gaming stories being shared, all sorts of good stuff. Link is in the description down below. I will not bore you any further with uh, my spiel. It's it's time to get this party started. The first order of business is actually going to be to upgrade Uberstrike. Rather not upgrade, but to uh, build another building, I should say, at Uberstrike. My apologies. We're going to actually get the Weaving House. Now, you, you might be wondering, well, why am I not getting the Blacksmith that I need to unlock access to certain units? Well, that's because our financial situation is dire. And so we're going to get the Weaving House. We're actually going to upgrade that to the uh, second tier as well, as soon as possible, which will be next turn, because that extra money will go a very long way in keeping things secure. We're going to actually change the commandment over here on that same note to Imperial Taxation to improve income from all buildings. 5% doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up very quickly. And we're also going to upgrade Uberstrike's um, fields here, the, the, the training field, to the rally field so that we get access to the crossbowmen. The halberdiers require us to make a blacksmith as well. Uh, we'll have access to spearmen with shields too, but I want those uh, crossbows in particular, so the rally field must come. And now, apart from recruiting a couple of units here and there, we're going to actually save to try and upgrade Altdorf to tier three. Once that happens, we'll be up, able to upgrade our uh, our ports to make a bit more money from them. We'll be able to upgrade the, uh, the, the the pottery production as well, get get them up to kilns. And there are some more buildings that I would like to build at Altdorf to uh, help us moving forward. Now, what's next? Well, we were eyeing the lands to the south, beyond the mountains. We've previously been eyeing the lands to our uh, east. Of course, there are the gold mines of Castle Drakenhof. There are the gold mines to the north as well, at Wolfenburg. But what about the gold mines to the west? I'm, of course, talking about Marienburg. Not literal gold mines, of course, but the port at Marienburg is extremely valuable. And going to war with Marienburg actually does not hurt our imperial authority, because just as a reminder, they do not show fealty to the Empire. And so we must defeat them in war and we must make them submit, and we must 
take Marienburg from them because it is a it is a very 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 profitable city. So I think we're going to go ahead and declare war and take Marienburg. We also want to move in there before the Bretonians are able to come in and cause any trouble over there. So we have to be quick about it. Obviously, I'm a little concerned about this full stack over here led by Emil von Corden himself. But if we're lucky. They're going to get distracted by their war with the uh, the orcs up over here, the greenskins up over here, the black pit tribe, and perhaps the threat of uh, of the war herd over here as well will draw them up north and leave Marienburg open for the taking, if we're lucky. To prepare for that, of course, we're going to upgrade Karl Franz over here. That's not what I meant, but we can get there just the same. We're going to get him uh, irrepressible. I'm tempted to... Yeah, we'll get him irrepressible. Not as great as it first seemed, sure, but it does unlock the rest of this blue line. Quartermaster looks good. Logistician looks good. And Lightning Strike, as you guys have rightfully pointed out, at Tier 3 works like the old Lightning Strike. It's a few more points to dedicate, but uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. So we're going to work towards all that as usual, and we're also going to work towards improving the uh, army over here. Let's go ahead and merge some of these spears. Let's go ahead and merge these spears as well. We're going to get these swordsmen. Um, actually, can I do... What if I do this? Good stuff. And what if I go ahead and do this? Hmm. Not a fan of how the, uh, the ranking there is spread out. But it, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Just want to see how that would uh, play out. Feeling okay because we are going to recruit uh, some more swords over here. I'm thinking we could get actually let's get let's get two units of spears from recruitment, and then we'll have Nicholas over here actually moving in to provide another unit of swordsmen and a unit of pistoliers, perhaps. Sure, take us up to a full twenty stack. Seems reasonable to me. And Nicholas himself, of course, has no more units. We, we could do some global recruitment. I think we're better off uh, staying put and, and waiting until we have some more money in the bank. Uh, global recruitment is so expensive, right? Uh, and I think it's, it's just straining our economy a bit too much. These spears will join us. I think that'll make us strong enough. I wish we had a bit more replenishment for these hand gunners, but we do not. There's nothing we can do about it. And I'm hoping that we're able to actually declare this war next turn. Maybe I'm rushing it, but my concern, again, is that there are further threats farther east and I need to beat them to the punch all right let's go ahead and hit that end turn button see exactly how the AI responds to the current circumstances and hope that they uh they yeah they get distracted by some of the stuff going on up over here actually before I hit end turn my apologies I'm gonna quickly check if there are any yes. trade agreements to be made there are Nordland and the celestial loyalists oh hello 63 59 I mean let's speak to these guys first go ahead and balance that out Take that extra money. Sure, propose that offer. And complain about that. Making more money. Go ahead and uh, Nordland is no longer interested. Fair enough. I'm glad I went for the uh, the more valuable uh, trade agreement first there. Good stuff, good stuff. No, don't take me over there. <laughs> take me back to my... There we go. Home. And that is where we can end the turn. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. I'm really hoping. Hoping beyond hope that these guys pull up north and then we can strike at Marienburg. We'll see what else uh, comes our way too, of course, because we're not the only ones able to uh, declare wars, and there are a few threats uh, at our uh, at our doorsteps, right? We've got a few doorsteps, uh, and I, I worry a bit about the, the 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 southern situation in particular. Elmgart will need some upgrading and some help. What do we have here? Is that a? Oh, it's a caravan with the plague. <laughs> Great, just bringing the plague through. What do you want, Hawkland? Uh, military access for money. Let's see if we can't counter-offer and adjust that payment a little bit. Maybe 250, I think, is going to be the upper limit over here. Uh, not even 250. All right, fine. Let's go with 225. Final offer. Cool, I'll take it. 25 more doesn't sound like a lot, but hey, who knows? That's one more units, uh, one more turn of upkeep, right? Hey, No. I was like, I can't see if there's another banner. It looks like they're still there. I can't tell, actually. <gasps> They're not. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though. For while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. Indeed, they are. Now, we have another mission issued at the same time as well. Our countrymen are in peril. They have requested that we defeat their enemy in battle. If we are victorious, they will have no choice but to bow before the throne. It will give us the Obsidian Amulet and improve diplomatic relations with Nordland. But this is a different mission that is not the actual quest itself, which is for the Reichland Runefang. 
Theodric Gosser, Electric Count of Nordland, requests aid. His lands have been experiencing increased coastal raids from Norska, and he needs allies to help repel the attackers, fearing they are forerunners of something far more sinister. His fears are realized when a massive Norskan force is spotted en route to Nordland's shores. The Emperor must now show that his reign is one of military strength, that none should doubt his power. He must drive the Norskan army back into the Sea of Claws. A reward of 5,000 gold is nothing to scoff at, Beast Slayer as well as some replenishment uh, for a couple of turns. I'm going to do the classic Party Elite thing and say, folks, we're going to go ahead and tackle this quest battle at a later point in time when it's a bit more convenient. Uh, but this time, though, I promise I will actually tackle the quest battle. I know normally I, uh, I, I tend to uh, ignore them. Uh, not intentionally, it just ends up happening, but this time I will most definitely um, tackle that. Soon, soon. Marienburg has been left undefended, and that is too juicy an opportunity to uh, forego. Hmm. Now, it's tempting. Can't see where they are. I imagine they've gone up to uh, to deal with this stuff. Again, the AI can be a little predictable at times in these ways. So I imagine they've come up north to maybe protect Gorsel or to go on the front foot. I doubt that. But... It's an opportunity, and I don't think we'll get many like this. Now, it's tempting to go after the fort down over here, Fort uh, Ber Bergebre. I'm not sure if that's a soft G or a hard G, but it's tempting to go there um, and take it first just because it's, you know, it's a fort, and you don't want them to, to garrison it and, and make it tougher for us. But uh, no, I, you know, I think Marienburg makes more sense. We, we don't want them, we don't want to take the fort, and then if their army is up over here, they'll travel down south and, you know, cover Marienburg, or maybe even push into Eilhart or further into Altdorf even, and then we're on the back foot out of nowhere. I don't like the sound of that. So I think it'll be to Marienburg we go. And actually, before I do that, talking about the fort up there reminds me, Helmgart, we should actually switch you over to um, Council of Burgomeisters, because then we get the income from Tate Tariff increase. The growth increase as well will slowly help us grow Helmgart more quickly, and uh, we'll be able to upgrade it and defend it better than its last occupants. Uberstrike, meanwhile, let's go ahead and upgrade the Weaving House to the Clothier. Clothier? Clothier? Not sure. Either way, make more money. That's what we need right now, make more money. And let's use that money to strike at Marienburg. There's no reason to hesitate. Again, they are not one of the Electric Counts who actually swear fealty to us, and so they are open season. They will not hurt our Imperial Authority. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I just want to clarify exactly what thinking is going on over here as we uh, dive into Marienburg. Plague infest almost plague-infested Marienburg with this Zalhan caravan coming through. Yeah, no reason not to do it. A war of submission must be declared. Marienburg must be brought back into the fold. War we go. War it is. In we go. What's it looking like? Valiant defeat. You know, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, sure, it's got uh, walls, right? Undoubtedly, it's got walls. Uh, we saw the icon. I just want to see what the layout is like. Because I feel like if we move quickly enough... We'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to just take the walls, you know, shut down their range support, and ha just have an absolute field day. Let's go ahead and, uh, continue the siege for a second, because I do want to check our circumstances outside of Marienburg. Do we have, yes, we do. I was like, do we have, um, that full stack in close proximity? So you know what? That settles it. I think we have to dive in, uh, because that army is almost certainly going to come back down and strike at Marienburg. Uh, and they'll sally forth and just absolutely destroy us. A full stack plus the garrison against uh, this full stack of ours and two more units. Yeah, I don't, I don't favor, I don't, I don't like those odds at all. Uh, also, look at this, would you? They're right there. They're headed towards Grungzint, I'm sure, but uh, they are right there. All right, you know what? There is no time to dally. I think we just dive into this and uh, and take Marienburg. That I that I checked. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Dive right on in. I do not think we'll suffer a valiant defeat. Let's move this war banner to our halberdiers over here. That way they'll be able to hold the ground both in their melee defense capabilities, but also in their uh, leadership capabilities, their mental capabilities, if you will. Perhaps it would be better suited on some swordsmen, but for now, you know what? Let's give it to the halberds. And, uh, and yeah, dive on in to uh, the Battle of Marienburg. To the battlefield we go. All right, folks, I'm not going to put too much uh, stock into the uh, potential of those gates being used by all of our units. I'm going to keep that in mind. Uh, so instead, we're just going to get Carl and some of the cavalry 
diving in through the uh, through the gates instead. We'll, we'll send them to break the gates over there, and the rest of our army. Honestly, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna use the walls. Uh, cannot afford the risk uh, of anything else. You know, cannot afford that risk. So let's send a couple of you up over here. What I would like to do is really spread the enemy forces thin, so they're not able to man all the towers. So they're kind of like decide picking and choosing which towers to actually uh, actually cover and actually take control of. These guns really won't do too much, unfortunately, either. Unless we actually maybe get them on the walls. We have our spears and halberds as well. Let's get the spears spread out over here. Should be able to take these walls over here. Get these guys taking these walls over here. Maybe this segment over here in particular. You guys up there. Yeah, yeah. A lot for them to shoot at means uh, hopefully they'll be paralyzed by their options. Let's get these swords over here to supplement some of the gunfire coming in. And let's get these gunners up over here as well don't know what coverage they'll have from these fort towers but hopefully that does the trick for us and let's go ahead and actually get the artillery a little nervous about the artillery get them up over here though and uh, see what we can do hopefully that does the trick make sure we're all grouped up appropriately as well get you in a guard mode and where are our hand gunners get you guys in guard mode as well yeah we'll send them up and, and get some shots in again they don't do fantastically in in in, in, in siege battles the argument could be made that maybe I should be chasing crossbows and, and archers, but uh, I don't know. Free company militia are a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. All right, here we go. I think we're all ready. How are these guys doing? They could get further up. Sure. Just so they don't have to move as far. Let's begin the battle. In we go. Oh, they've actually got all the towers, eh? All right, all right, all right. Not a problem, not a problem. Open fire up there. Guns, get you up over there as well. Artillery firing where? Get some of these guys. Oh, you know what? We're, that's not too bad. We're getting some damage in. Getting some damage in. What happened there? Oh. Morale dropped real low for those uh, those pistol layers. It's because of all the, the range fire that's coming through. That's okay. Send you up over here. Actually, send you up over here. Don't just stand there eating shots. Send you up over here as well. Took a minute there just admiring the, uh, the damage being done by some of these gunners. That was perhaps foolish. But it's not too bad. You guys are going up. Those guys are going up. Taking a lot of hurt. Those towers have done a lot of work. My goodness. Being obliterated over here. Not like that. We're firing away over here. Artillery. Let's get you. Firing over here, please. Oh, these gates looking. A bit of damage being done there. Moving in over here. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. These gates will break soon. Hopefully we'll get in behind them and, and cause them some concern moving up soon ladders are about to arrive they're it's not going to be easy they're actually pretty badly damaged they're quite badly damaged in fact move up Get the guns up you guys are about to arrive where are our great swords we're firing over here getting some damage done to these halberds from the uh oh, artillery it's like our cavalry has come through want to make sure the archers aren't able to just freely fire at us obviously Will you come through the gates? Oh, you will. Oh my goodness. They will. They will. These are halberds. We do not want to engage them. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Ladders have docked. Okay, good stuff. We're climbing. We're climbing. Excellent. We're climbing up over here as well, taking these towers. Sure. Don't mind that at all. Artillery. How are we looking? Firing up over there. And fire back over there, perhaps. I've, I've made a huge mistake with the great sword, just leaving them behind like that. But that's okay. Not the end of the world. We're climbing up over here. Maybe we can take this uh, point over here. Shut down some of these towers before they're uh, formed up. Artillery fire coming through. Uh, those are some terrible shots. Those are some absolutely horrendous shots. Guns are coming up, though. Some of them will be in trouble, of course. The halberds are arriving. Don't like that. Are right, we looking over here? Holding our ground, trying to at least. These guys coming through. Engage the swords. Yes. Let's go. Moving up, capturing that point. Good stuff. Good stuff. Guns are arriving. Great swords are arriving soon as well. Our own halberds have arrived. Rear charge over here, perhaps. Oh, good hits. Good hits by the artillery there. Jeez. Don't mind that. Men have come through. Go ahead and push in against these halberds. We are holding on to this. Yeah, there we go. Take it. Get rid of that tower. Very much appreciate that. Our men are starting to give up over here. Unsurprisingly, of course. Unsurprisingly. Building some barricades down there. These gunners are up over here. The gates are ours. Yes, they have been for a while. Archers concern me. Let's get up there and shut them down. These guns looking. Move you up as well. These guns over. And we can maybe fire into uh, these halberds as well. A lot going on over here, actually. Let them fire over here. 
Quickly now, quickly now. All right, we're okay over there. Have we taken this point? We have indeed. Let's go ahead and move. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, beautiful stuff. That was very helpful. Got these guys tied down. Yeah, those crossbows. I keep calling them archers, not crossbows. Go ahead and apply some pressure. Albert's over here. Don't like that, obviously. Carl, let's send you through. Just want to get to those uh, crossbows, though our swords are doing fine over there. Guns are able to fire back over here now. Limit these swordsmen, perhaps. Sneak by, sneak by, sneak by. Don't engage, don't engage, don't engage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good stuff. Maybe we can shut down these uh, these gunners down there. Stiliers are through. Keep pushing through. All right, they've kind of like let us in, actually. Gunners keep firing down at those swords, I think. We're holding the line up there. Those spears are doing all right. Carl, back over here. No, those archers have given up pretty much. A little more could, could go a long way. These guns firing with these halberds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good charge over here, looks like. And the handgunners. The, the, the swords back there as well. Not too concerned about them, obviously. Fire away. Get these uh, pistoliers firing at the halberds. Try and reduce their strength a little bit. And we keep firing back up over here. Oh, no, don't go into the halberds. Shoot at them. Oh, run and shoot. Shoot and scoot, right? Go ahead and pull them right into these swords, perhaps. We'll go a long way. Keep rushing. Let's go. Over here, how are we doing? A pull back for another charge, I think. Holding the line over here still. Yeah, doing okay, doing okay. Guns are firing away still. Getting some of them to break. Love it. Open fire with these swords up there. These guys are able to fire away. Yeah, good. Looks like this worked out perfectly. The uh, halberds were baited into our, our swords over there. Uh, up top, their halberds are giving up our swords. Oh my goodness, look at that. The Zvihan holding, holding their ground once more. So very beautifully impressive. These guys are able to fire away these swords. Don't know if they're actually all able to fire. They might be blocking each other's shots a little bit. Looks like it. Spread out a little bit. Got these guys ready to charge again. Um, downhill. Oh, we got the handgunners up there as well. But let's get this downhill charge first. In we go. Good clean hits, I think, with the gunfire coming through as well. They should break. Looking like it. Yes, they have uh, They have given up. Let's push into these guns over here. Then we'll move up to those guns up there. How are we looking over here? Pistoliers still firing away. Great swords. Got those swords went up over there concerning me a little bit. These guys can fire back at these halberdiers. Let's go ahead and chase after what? Wolfgang over here. Wolfgang Hus. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I need to shut those handgunners down. Oh, they've got this building over here. 15 seconds. I won't be able to close that gap quickly enough, unfortunately. Carl, no, come back over here. Come back over here. I've just sent him gallivanting. We could send our swords up over here to support. Our artillery should probably not commit all this friendly fire. Hold your fire. Guns. I've scared off the halberds. Swords are coming up to support the uh, the Zweihan. Actually, tempted to pull the Zweihan back. They're taking a lot of damage. And we fire up there as well. Let's see. These guns have come through. Fire away. It's a bit of a dangerous situation, I suppose. Pull back. Hit the uh, the great swords with a nice clean charge. Hopefully. Downhill. In we go. In we go. Come on now. Gunshots coming through as well. That was not a very good charge at all. Pull you up into these handgunners. These guns should keep firing though. Cause as much damage as you can. Carl, where are you? Coming through. Coming through. How doing over here? Great swords are okay. Keep pulling you back. These guys are able to fire. Yep. Keep at it. Keep at it. Pistol ears. Let's move you up. Ooh, these handgunners actually took that charge rather well, didn't they? Down over here. We're doing okay. Go ahead and pull you back. Get you firing down over here as well. Oh, you're actually out of ammo. Oh, no. You are swordsman. All right. Pull over to here. We'll come down and charge them from behind, perhaps. See what that does for us. Good chasing up over there against those handgunners. Down over here, meanwhile, are... Zvihan is doing okay, pulling back, staying safe. Their swordsmen have given up over there. All right, we've caused a lot of damage, but you know what? We've also taken a lot of damage, so we might not come out on top over here. This battle also might not have as many cutaways, by the way, just because there's so much going on at any given time. Pull these guns back, get the swords down over here. Might actually lose that unit. Those handgunners have given up. Push down to Wolfgang Hus over there. Pull you down as well. And we send you here. Just to split them up a little bit. Give them multiple directions to chase in. Income rather terrible charges. They're trying to like go through so many units, right? We should be able to now turn around though and open fire because these guys are chasing these gunners, which is great. Worked out perfectly. Go ahead and get Carl down over here. Our spears are still holding the ground against the swordsmen and the halberdiers over there. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and and, and boost them up a little bit. I, no, I don't, don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. It's so far away. Keep doing this. Turn on and fire. This is looking good. Looks like we've come out on top over here. 
Their halberds are down here. Go ahead and crush them. Oh, these halberds are not having a good time. Which towers of theirs are actually hitting us? Either way, let's pull them back, keep them safe. Firing away over here, Carl. Let's go ahead and pop that, sure. Dive in, fire away. Good stuff. Once he breaks, maybe the army will the enemy army will break. Actually, we, we might need to take care of these halberdiers and swordsmen. Those spears, though, they are they are keeping them occupied, that's for sure. Gunshots up over here, no longer necessary, I don't think. Let's go ahead and pull you over this way. And let's go ahead and get these guys actually coming up this way. These guns pull you up this way as well. Oh, there it is. Victory is ours. Glorious, glorious victory. That was a hectic fight. That was a hectic fight. A Pyrrhic victory, but I will take it. They expected defeat. Proved them very, very wrong. Now, hopefully, all of our units have actually survived because we did throw them into the thick of things. There was a little bit of friendly fire as well at some points. A bit more of a chaotic battle, a bit more spread out, a bit more all over the place. But overall, you know what? Decently pleased with our performance there. Lost about 900 soldiers. Uh, we, we did outnumber the enemy, but of course, they, they had walls and towers and all that good stuff. So we were, we were fighting against quite a bit. And I do wonder if the, that banner there came in handy for these halberds after all. Those spears, though, they were holding their ground for so very long. Got very few kills, most of them, but just keeping those couple of units occupied might have completely changed the, uh, the, the, the face of the battle, right? So I will happily take their, uh, their positioning and their seemingly minimal contribution. Oh, we lost our halberds. That hurts. That hurts. Because uh, halberds are still a handful of turns away. I wish I was a bit more careful with them. I feel like that's a little unfair. We managed to keep them alive. I feel like that's a little unfair. But you know what? They fought a good fight. Let's go ahead and assign the uh, war banner to, to someone else. I guess some, some of these swordsmen. These that performed the best. 87. 100 kills on the uh, heroes of Helmgard. Heroes of more than just Helmgard, I suppose. 200 kills on the Reichsguard over here. Not too shabby at all. The Gleaming... Sorry. Yes. The Gleaming Pennant. Plus four leadership. Why don't we go ahead and give that to... Uh, Sure, our, our second best performing swordsman. Why not? Go ahead and accept that. I will call it a glorious victory. We did rather well. Yes, we lost a lot of troops, but we did rather well. We're going to occupy. No need to upset the people any further. Yes, the money is tempting. Oh, that money is really tempting, but no. We will simply occupy. Marienburg belongs to us. It will make its, like, the sack's worth of money back in no time. We already have the Marienburg docks. You can see once they upgrade, like, they, they make so much money. We also have the stables here already. Okay, that makes, uh, that makes this army a bit more interesting now, doesn't it? So, what do we do here? What do we do here? Go ahead and bring you into this. Yep. Yes. Go ahead and bring... Ah, uh, see? Yeah, not, not a fan of, of, of that. Hmm. I want to make sure, because if these guys come down, I want to be ready for it, you know? They've got their reinforcing army as well. How many can we recruit at a time? Two at a time? All right, I would like a full stack over here. So why don't we go ahead and get ourselves a couple of... Archers are tempting. Get a couple of spears. Then we can go ahead and merge these two and these two. Now we'll have, we'll have a replacement spears. I suppose there's one more slot available. Global recruitment. We'll need to wait here for a couple of turns at the very least, I suppose. Really unfortunate that this tech is two turns away. That recruit rank buff and that recruitment cost reduction would have gone a very long way for us. Uh, we do have money. Recruit. Why don't we go ahead and do... Let's see. I'm tempted to recruit back over here in Reichland. Let's go ahead and move you into Isleheart just to defend it, hypothetically. And let's go ahead and recruit a couple of swords that we can then transfer over to uh, Carl's army when the opportunity comes. Carl himself will, of course, get another level of, or a first level, perhaps, of logistician, replenishment. I know it's only 2%, but honestly, it feels like it feels like the world right now. It really feels like the world right now. So let's go with logistician. And hopefully that helps Quartermaster, upkeep cost reduction. Let's see, actually, if I undo that. 2081 versus 2007. Okay, I'll go with Logistician, sure. Just taking a look at our, our financial situation. Don't deliver the plague unto us, please. I would I would very much appreciate if you didn't, thank you. Uh, feeling good about that? Feeling good about this? Not so good about the Halberdiers. Uh, I was a little reckless with them. Yeah, that, that's unfair. I thought I was being pretty careful at the, at the end there when I pulled them back, but hey, 
it is what it is. We pay the price of our of our greed, right? We've taken Marienburg, and that that definitely means something. I suspect they're going to try and take it back this turn. Um, I suspect they're going to put us under siege. I don't know if they're going to actually be able to uh, to take it though. Um, I think they'll probably wait until they build a at least a couple of towers, and I'll have the reinforcing army come through. But our army is in a bit of a pitiful state, so I'm not sure how smoothly that'll go, actually. Come on, please don't come down here. You've got so much to deal with up north, there's no reason to come down. Ooh, hello. Or rather, perhaps I should say goodbye. They legitimately... <gasps> oh, yes! I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. I guess I feel better about it, because I'm not currently at war with these green skins, but that is a threat directly to our north. A much more serious threat, one that will declare war on us uh, when they feel like it. At least with Marienburg, we were the aggressor, uh, but we'll talk about it in a moment. Ostermark demands a region. What's going on here? Historically, the region of Mordheim has been ruled over by Ostermark, but is currently under the control of the Electric Count of another state. Wolfram Hertwig, the rightful Electric Count of Ostermark, has asked for your help in restoring his rule over this land immediately. Oh, it's a choice between Talavikland and uh, Ostermark. Talavikland is so close to being confederated. I think we will allow the expansion because uh, they have they have shown more fealty. Ostermark, maybe that'll teach you a lesson. Be more loyal and uh, gifts will come your way. We will allow the expansion, increasing the fealty of Talavikland by one, taking us to nine. Looks like the Skull Smashers have been destroyed as well separately. Uh, but yes, this will take them up to nine. One more step. So if it goes up to 10, the following turn, we are able to uh, confederate them. Or rather, they, they offer it, and we get the choice to confederate or not. Confederation does impact Imperial Authority. More on that when it actually becomes relevant. But first, let's see. No, you know, I'm saving to upgrade Altdorf. I should perhaps do that. A blacksmith would go a long way in helping us replace those halberdiers. It's not too far away now. Uh, population of two. Four turns will get us to three to get these guys that we need to... Okay, yeah, you know what? We'll wait. We'll wait. Hmm. We are two turns away from having enough to upgrade Altdorf. Yeah, we'll wait, because I want to get Altdorf up first. These are all upgrades to the actual cities, that's fine. You are still replenishing, absolutely. I wonder if we could just recruit separately. I wouldn't mind taking this fort right now. Wouldn't mind taking that fort right now, truth be told. All right, here's what we'll do. Uh, head on over to Carl. Go ahead and take his weaker swordsman there and deliver these two over. Ooh, can I... Don't want to lose the war banner over there. I actually don't know, now that I think about it. How can I... Reass I can't reassign here, can I? I it just occurred to me that I, I don't think I can actually reassign the, uh, the, 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 the banner unless we're about to go into battle. I could be mistaken. Either way, let's do this trade. Go ahead and, uh, and do it. It's, it's, it's fine. It's not the end of the world to lose that war banner. It does hurt though, doesn't it? So, I know, I know, I know I can be indecisive sometimes. <laughs> I didn't want to lose these higher tier swordsmen, but the more I look at this, I feel like maybe these the 38 can go. Go ahead and pull the 38 down over here and, and swap in these guys. Yeah, that looks good to me. And now Carl, uh, still I think we'll wait one more turn of replenishment because quite a few of these units are still hurt, this Vihand especially. And I do not want to lose them uh, against uh, this fort over here. So we'll, we'll hang tight. Garrison Lord not moved, that is Carl. Yes, he's going to stay put. Uh, meanwhile, Nicholas will get you recruiting as well couple of spears, perhaps. Don't want to lose too much money. I want to stay within two turns of getting um, Altdorf upgraded, right? And that should have us covered. Cool. Just a constant influx of units. This is great, though. Does this mean Marienburg? They still have this up over here. But does this mean they lost both of those armies? Because that is good news. That is good news. Building upgrade available. I'm sure that's just uh, settlement upgrades. I'm not going to do those. Let us end our turn there. Good stuff. Very good stuff. I do not like the buffer settlement, of course, between us and uh, and and our enemies to the far north. Hopefully, the greenskins will take care of them themselves, and we can crush the uh, the faction down at the fort or south. But at least we've secured Marienburg. I was very concerned 
Seeing that full stack over there. Are you serious? Are you for real? Are you about to are you about to take it? He's not attacked it yet, but he does look in position. We could of course attack Fort uh Burge Bray, Burg Bray, Burgress, I'm not sure. Uh we could put it under siege and and let attrition do its job. What do we have here? Ended their non-aggression pact with us, no surprise there. No surprise there at all. Alright. Man. Feeling okay. The Council of States, what do we have here? Ooh, what do we have here? The Council of States is an important group of advisors that grew from the demands of running the Empire day to day. There are far too many for one man or woman to keep track of. Prominent family members or nobles of each state are frequently appointed as consultants on matters of imperial law, finance, diplomacy, and military matters, amongst other things. A seat on the council has become available, and the states of Talavikland and Visenland have both put forward candidates to fill it. It is certain that your endorsement of one of them will tip the balance one way or the other, informing the final decision. Visenland is very close to being extremely upset with us, but Talavikland is very close to a uh, confederation. And so, we'll endorse Lavicklin's candidate. Absolutely. Absolutely. A little worried about Vissenland, but we'll keep them in check. There's that local militia, increased recruitment rank and recruitment cost reduction. Wish that would have come a bit sooner, but it is what it is. We could get grain silos to improve uh, income from settlement buildings. Maybe not a terrible idea. Five turns it'll take, but I think these state troop standards would be rather helpful. Faster infantry. More leadership for infantry, too. They won't break as easy. Don't think that's a, a terrible idea. Man, still, I'm going to be honest, a little sad about the, uh, about the lost, um, lost halberdiers, but we'll get them replaced soon enough. I'm glad they weren't named yet. That would make me rather sad. <laughs> as you saw, I was particularly careful about the Zweihand. All right, these guys are looking pretty good, you know? I, I think we, I think we'll go in. Just these guys I'm worried about. Maybe one more turn. One more turn of patience. Let's go pull you back to Isleheart. More variety of units to recruit over there. I want to make sure we're making at least 400 gold next turn. So let's go ahead and pick up what? Yeah, see, if we'd stayed here, we could have got the Spearman with shields. Let's get some crossbows in here. Finally get some crossbows into our uh, armed forces. And I'm tempted... Huh. 333 times 2 is 666, so it's actually not double. I guess the reduction's helping. We'll leave it at that for now, though. Leave it at that for now, and then next turn we'll strike at uh, the fort, and we'll upgrade Altdorf at the same time. Sounds good to me. Garrison Lord not moved. That's Carl Franz. Building upgrades available. That's all the uh, settlement upgrades. Really worried about these guys. Just a little concerned. We should be... Oh, I mean, their army right now is easily taken on, but uh, I don't know what, what the darkness holds up north. And the turn there. I do not know what the darkness holds up north. I sincerely hope these guys aren't making a move down here. I will go to war with them if they do. I imagine they're simply returning home. They've, they've taken Grung Zint, they've burned it down, they're returning home. Also, I don't know, by the way, if I actually want to take Grung Zint for myself. Because... Ah, uh, we have war, don't we? Yes. Festus has declared war upon us. Fair enough, Festus is still... Oh, you know what? Festus is far away from... Reichland, it's not far away from Talavikland. So that war is actually a lot closer. It's about to be right at our doorstep, actually. And that is unfortunate timing. Let's put it that way. Unfortunate timing. Uh, either way, what was I saying? I'm sure the Bretonians are, are turning around and returning home. They're not going to take that fort. They have no reason to. Right, Grungzint. I'm not sure if I want to take it because it is... Um not ideal living conditions and so there's a lot of like downsides to that right like building like construction costs more public order is always lower like control is always lower so i'm just not sure if i actually want to take it however i know i do want to take this great strides have been made in your relationship with the state of talavikland of late their electric count Ahmed oyerbach has approached you with an offer of confederation Landlocked by other imperial states, the home of the Telapic Landers is vast, with the resource-rich Great Forest being its most prominent area. However, its capital, Talabheim, is home to the Knights of the Blazing Sun, fearsome Templars who worship Myrmidia, the classical goddess of war. Will you accept Telapicland's offer of confederation? So, I could assert independence. And then 20 turns from now, they will offer it again. It will improve our imperial authority. I wish you could hover over these 
especially as a newer player, I think it would be, like, if you are a newer player, you would just want to check, like, what are these numbers, what are these thresholds, and what do they actually mean? I know plus one isn't insignificant, I know it would actually be quite nice to have plus one, but I also know that negative three isn't really all that bad, it's, it can be it can be pretty bad. Um, we're, we're gonna accept the confederation, we absolutely will. I also wish I could zoom back, but, uh, Labakland, welcome to the fold. We'll accept your confederation. And ooh, behold the twin-tailed comet. Darks across the sky, a portent of great events. The Grand Theogenist has decreed this to be a good omen. Your warriors are elated that Sigmar looks upon them and gird themselves for war. Good stuff. Take that extra control. It'll help counteract this negative three impact. The negative two impact, I suppose, a little bit. Oh, okay, actually, it doesn't start hitting control until uh, negative four. Either way, the province of Talabakland has been secure. Wonderful stuff. There is our confederation through shrewd diplomacy. I would call that diplomacy. There was no intimidation involved there at all. We have expanded our territory significantly. Now, that might look extremely scary, but it's only that because we have acquired some armies that I'm sure are entirely useless. Helmet Feuerbach over here. I suppose we could keep him, right? He he was uh, the person in charge at the time. Uh, where is our electric count screen? So we have you over here. We could put Helmet back in charge. Gives quite a few uh, benefits. Sutsun's guns. Tempting, tempting. Very tempting. Either way, we could put him back in charge over there, uh, and so not actually disband his army. But there are a few other armies that I'm sure don't actually need to be around. We have these guys up over here at Talabheim. See what I mean? Estus is at our doorstep. Literally across the water over here. The tainted, tainted water, I'm sure. But which armies do we disband? I mean, this one costs 1,600, 1,700 almost. This one costs 290. Um, this one might need a little bit of uh, adjusting as well to make it all affordable. Is that all the uh, armies we have? Or rather, they had, I should say? Well, why don't we go ahead and, first of all, upgrade Altdorf so I don't forget. Schedule that. 646, eh? We are able to... Ooh. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. If I don't do this, how much do these each cost? Upgrading costs a thousand each. Oh, a thousand is for the one, I guess. Oh, and this one costs a thousand as well. Ah, uh, that would mean... I think we should upgrade Altdorf. I think we, we upgrade Altdorf. We disband a couple of these armies, maybe even all of them. I worry about all of them because I, I do feel like we'll need, uh, need them to stand against Festus over here. It's a little concerning. So let's get rid of these guys, though. You a full stack? You got two slots. Wondering about... Alright, let's go ahead and, you know, we, we can't afford one more turn at all. So we're unfortunately going to actually disband this entire army. Yep. A couple of ranked up units that we're losing. A couple of expensive to recruit units that we're losing as well. But there's just not... Oh, actually... Glad I checked. Move in. Very glad I checked. Send in the pistoliers. Send in the crossbows as well. Uh, I'm tempted to pull back the archers to disband instead. You know, and, and send the, the, the crossbows in. In their place. Let's disband all three of these. Send in... That's a lot of crossbows in this army. Send in a couple more crossbows. And send in some more... Spearmen with shields as well. There you go. That's a full 20 stack. I think that's a bit more nicely balanced. Could use a few more swords in here, I suppose, but uh, I'll take it. I will uh, I will take it. Sure. And then we can disband this army. Go ahead and give you all the boot. Off you go. It is what it is. 255 left on the balance there. That means getting rid of Ulrich Stroham here will uh, will balance that out. I do wonder if I shouldn't reconsider this uh, army a little bit because it is costing us quite a bit. I could also, of course, disband some units over here for this entire army as well. Nicholas has served us well, but maybe it's time for him to go. Uh, and that would that would, that would save us a fair bit of uh, fair bit of money. Hmm. We do have some time to think about it. We also should probably move in towards this fort, right? Oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Glad I checked again. Looks like Emil von Corden actually retreated. I'll be very interested to see what happens over here. They're going to go up against this not really a full stack um, of, uh, of of the Black Pit tribe. 
they'll probably see success there. So should we hold our ground over here in case he instead decides to come all the way down? I don't think he can make it. But a battle with this garrison. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. A Pyrrhic victory is being predicted. We ought to resolve it. We'll actually use the, the Zvihan there. Lose. I think I said use. I meant lose. We could probably take these guys on. They don't seem all that threatening. Bunch of crossbows. They got those towers as well. Why don't we go ahead and encircle them? And if they want to sally forth, they are welcome to do exactly that. Meanwhile, Nicholas over here, we could send you in to reinforce as well. I wonder about holding Marienburg. You know what? No, let's go ahead and uh, send you in to reinforce. Forward. My hope? Oh. Name. Okay, good. I was worried it was going to do that weird thing with the interception thing. I, that must have been a bug. As, as some of you pointed out as well, I think that was a bug. But either way, um, hopefully this will help crush uh, Marienburg's ability to support its army. And hopefully these guys will actually be able to hold them back or at least cause some damage. And then we can loop back around and hit them afterwards. Commandment is available over here at Talabicland. Of course, let's go ahead and increase the income from all buildings. Thank you very much. And see if we can't sustain something. You don't need to be here. You are literally a single individual. So let's go ahead and disband you. A little concerned, of course, about this army coming down and taking Talabine. It does have walls, though, and we're not too far away. Uh, with Helmut Feuerbach getting up over there. Though we are also now surrounded by all this, let's not forget. Huh, Needling. But take Needling. I don't think we can afford to lose our... Uh, uh, any soldiers, though. Why don't we build the uh, weaving house over here if we can? Oh, we already have one. Okay, what about the... farms? Fields, rather. Casualty replenishment and growth. Not as much of a priority. Money is the priority right now. Not much else can do that. Fair enough, let's hold on to the money we do have then. And we are making some profit, but not nearly enough to make me feel comfortable. Let's end the turn there and see what the AI does. Things are... things are... not so simple, are they? What do you desire? A trade agreement. And they're willing to pay. Let's perhaps see if we can't nudge those numbers a bit. We cannot, but I will, I will take it. And you know what? Next turn, we should take a look at uh, trade opportunities ourselves as well. We should definitely take a look at trade opportunities just to increase our, our funds a little bit. It hurt to lose that big army, but we had to. We had to. We had no, we had no choice, right? I wanted to get the land now. I didn't want to risk Telavikland, you know, suffering at the hands of the von Karsteins or, 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 or uh, Festus or, or anything like that. And then all that effort and all that prestige and stuff we'd spent would have been for nothing, right? We spent some prestige to improve our relations there. It all worked out nicely, though, and rather quickly, too, but... I would hate for it all to have been a waste. And Marienburg, Marienburg, where are you, my sweet? Well, I say Marienburg, you know what I mean. Their army. Ostermark has been destroyed? That's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Huh. Alright, fair enough. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll deal, we'll deal, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. Here they are taking some damage, yes. Looks like they were actually pushed back over here, so that's not too bad. I don't know who won, who was defeated, and by whom or how, but uh, I'll take it. Meanwhile, with all the money we've made, let's go ahead and actually upgrade you and... I, I guess just you. Uh, 273, eh? <laughs> not a lot of money being made. Not a lot of money being made. They have two stacks over here, are you kidding me? This is not going to be a fun... This is not going to be a fun time at all. All right, well, let's make our way over to Talabim. It'll take us two turns to get there, looks like. Go by the road. Quickly as possible, please. And we do have military uh, access with these guys, right? Do we have any... We don't have any military alliances. I wonder if I should pursue any. But let's let's first take a look at, of course, diplomacy. And let's take a look at the opportunity to... Sorry. Trade. The Western provinces are willing. Not bad. And Midland as well. Not too terrible. Let's go with the Western provinces first. And let's, of course, balance this offer out. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Acceptable. Acceptable is all I need. I don't care if it's barely or greatly. I like it. This is all good. I'm not looking to give Midland any money. Maybe they'll eventually be willing to trade with us uh, without needing payment of any kind. Head back home, please. And one more turn, perhaps, of attrition over here. Let's take a look at these numbers a little bit. Close victory being predicted. Yeah, I think we could do with a little bit more damage being caused. In fact, if we auto-resolve, we don't even have to fight this battle. But no, one more turn, and then we'll strike. One more turn. 
<laughs> I keep looking at the financial situation. Not a fan of it. I am curious as well where that army went. If it was truly, like, destroyed. Or if it just managed to, uh... Or if it retreated, perhaps. Or it fought a battle and then also retreated. Not sure. But they show up on the horizon, then at least we'll have uh, some indication of what's going on there, right? Good, okay. I was worried that the, uh... Our, our northern enemies would strike at us. God. It's only a matter of time before we get a war declared on us from the south as well. And that could be spread out so far. Nordland? What are you interested in? Trade deal, perhaps? A non-aggression pact. Yeah, I see no problem with that. Perhaps a counteroffer is in order. We'll balance that out. <laughs> 47. Sure, I'll take it. Look, we're dealing with hundreds uh, in income per turn. 47 is like a quarter of our month, like of our per turn income. So yeah, I'll take it. Oh, look at that. They're right there. They're right there, and I think they're headed towards Marienburg. Fiend. Oh, friends in high places. I read fiends in high places. I was like, what? Um, friends in high places. Oh, actually, this is not looking very good. You were approached by your sharpest political advisor, who has formulated a plan to increase your standing amongst the other electors. It will involve considerable politicking from you, however, and a great deal of time spent with each and every one of the heads of the other states. I must do nothing, unfortunately. I do not have the prestige needed for this. Just short by 20, because that is my luck. Uh, but yes, it sounds like a lot of effort, which I have little time for. Political gains can be made elsewhere. We gain some prestige. Now, why why are we down to negative 7? Why, 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 why are we down to negative 7? Confederation. Electric counts destroyed. Not under my control. And Imperial provinces being raised. Not under my control. Not my doing. Jeez, I really got to step in over here, don't I? I really got to step in up over here and, uh, and, and do something about this situation. Don't like that. Because if it hits negative 10, all electric counts declare war on you. Not an ideal situation. Maybe taking that negative 3 wasn't such a good idea. I thought we were uh, relatively safe. But uh, perhaps I was mistaken. Well, into uh, the fort we go. Decisive victory. Okay. With a decisive victory, I think we can auto-resolve it. I wasn't looking to do that, but... Hmm. Actually, I think to the battlefield we go. Because uh, we got uh, we got Marienburg's army up north, right? I just realized we have that giant army up there. And, and what are you looking like? Not a full stack, but uh, not a not a... Not a small army either. They will strike Marienburg next turn, I'm pretty sure. Fairly confident. Alright, let's head on in. To the battlefield we go once more. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hopefully smoothly again. We're going to play it safe. Carl, Reichsguard, Pistoliers, you're going to move in from here. Take the gate. Yep. And then we're going to get everybody else taking the uh, the walls. Go ahead and get all of our swords over here spread out take 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 that entire section get all of our spears spread out over here taking this entire section get these guns hmm actually tempted to send the guns up they did quite well once they got on the walls in that last battle let's try and send them up over there let's get these swords and great swords then uh over here a bit more over or perhaps even over here that way we have them over here, and maybe the enemy will be a bit more hesitant to deploy troops over there. We'll get these guns over here as well. Maybe leaning a bit too heavily on that side. And get the artillery actually over hmm, here. Sure, let's do that. Get you three in there, these guys up there, these guys up there. Yeah, looks like that's everybody all accounted for. Reinforcements arriving in two minutes' time. Let us begin the battle. And you up, and you up. These guys are firing away already. Good stuff. Artillery, fire away up over here, sure. And these guys up as well, let's go, quickly now. Actually go up over here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Archers are a little concerned actually. Pull up there, pull up there. Sure, let's do that. In we go, these guys are firing away as well. Some good shots over here actually. These guys are, are, are causing a fair bit of damage uh, down over here. Just firing away, pushing those swordsmen back. These guys are able to push up rather safely as a result. Send you up over there please. And send you up over there. These guys can go up over there. Okay, good. Uh, into the gates, please. Do not need to eat shots from those archers. And let's send you up over here. Send you up over here. 
Very close, very close. Artillery is firing away. Not sure how many hits they're actually landing. We're able to get up on the walls now. A little too early, I think, still. Fire away up over here, please. Send them back as well. Ladders have arrived. Up they go. And over here as well. Ladders have arrived. Up they go. Good stuff, good stuff. Can you please... Yeah, excellent. Gates are going to break soon, hopefully. Are we looking here? Artillery fire coming through. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Love to see it. Guns. Let's maybe take the walls. Kind of risky, because they're still able to, you know, operate there. Uh, let's go ahead and fire, actually, at these guys back here. Those uh, spears are a little threatening, I suppose. We can get all these guys up top. Yeah. Got them. And then, and then we get the swords up on the walls as well. We'll be nice and safe. Looks like the gate's almost broken. We've captured a victory point. Good stuff. That one over there looks like. We're taking the walls over here as well. A couple of swords to hold back our spears. We should be okay. It'll be our spears holding back their swords, actually. And the Reichsguard. Oh, have we pushed through? We have indeed. We have indeed. In we go. Through the breach. Uh, these are halberdiers, eh? All right, into these Empire Knights, then. A little counter-charge action over here. There's some spears here as well. Got to be careful. Just want to get that charge in while they're not braced or anything like that. Good stuff, good stuff. And we're going to want to pull away pretty much right away. Pull back and perhaps secure that victory point. But we'll keep them moving. We'll keep them moving. Again, they're fast troops. And on the topic of tr fast troops, some slow troops have arrived to the battlefield. Go ahead and pull all these guys up, please, quickly. Good stuff, good stuff. We're taking the walls. We've taken the walls over here as well. Send you down against these swords. Get these swords pushing in against these spears. Guns are coming up. Yeah, a little unfortunate situation for them a little bit, but uh, we should be okay. Fire away over here at these spears. Arl and Co. Well, you through. Let's go. These guys have made it out. Crossbows are having a bit of a field day. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, get out of there. Artillery is firing away. Yes, it is. Hopefully, we'll get some work done over here. You guys, come on, get out. Gotta keep giving them orders. Alright, can we pull out this way instead? In comes the artillery fire. Ho, 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 good hit. Come on, come on, come on, get out of there. Just an absolute pain. The Reich's got over there. Come on, get out of there. It's okay, I, I threw them in there. I, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the blame on that one. But they are in trouble. They are in trouble here. Don't, don't go up that way. Don't, don't go into the enemy. Pull back away from them. We're gonna lose them, aren't we? We're gonna lose them. Pull all you back down over here. Have we lost them? Don't see them anymore. We'll see. Oh, there they are. X guard. Pull away, pull away. Just try and draw these spears away from the Reichs guard. Using Carl to bait them. There we go. Okay, that worked. Well enough. Well enough, I'll take it. These guys are up here. Can we capture that spot? Move you up there through the crossbows. We're firing over here. Yeah, looking okay. Pull you in, please. Here we go. No, get, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's always confusing as hell when the banner disappears like that and it's like, oh, is that the whole unit gone? Oh, we lost the unit. We're okay. Get you out of here. Get you out of here. Let's go. Withdraw. Keep them safe. Oh, send you up against those crossbows. These guys are pulling back. They should be safe. They should be fine. Send you in against these crossbows down there. What's the situation over here? We actually didn't do too hot up there. I was uh, not paying enough attention up there. These reinforcements have arrived. Can we go in through the gates? We cannot. All right. So. Got to individually tell them which wall section to use. That's very helpful. There we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. On the ground there. How are we looking up there? Okay. You guys, not so much. Pull you back, get you out of here. Withdraw. Artillery still firing away up over there. Can we maybe get some help over here instead? Spears took a significant beating. A significant beating. Push into these crossbows. Alright, these guys have arrived. Again, having to use the walls over here. Not, not my choice. Not my choice by any stretch of the imagination. But, uh, didn't do anything about it. They refuse to use the hole in the other uh, wall known as the door. Alright, 
think our this leader's got away as well. Good stuff. We're doing all right over here, so that's uh, that's not a problem. How are our great swords doing this by hand over here in the thick of things, as can be expected? And these guys over as well. Let's go. Now, how are we doing over here? Yeah, these spears took a, took a serious beating. Buddy over here, still chasing after some of these uh, crossbows. It looks like pushing it here. Stop their fire from coming through. Get these swords moving over. Hopefully they'll all go over the wall. Quite a few of them are actually already on the wall, so it should be easier to do. And it looks like those crossbows are... Well, they're being kept busy, if nothing else. Down over here, do we have uh, victory imminent? Send you guys over. You guys... Yeah, sure. Let's let's get them through, and we'll fire into the backs of these, uh, these halberdiers. Quite a few soldiers still in there. Send you in. Or fire away, I suppose, rather. This side has been a bit of a hot mess, unfortunately. Should have been a bit more careful about the situation there. There were swords here. Hold these spears back. Carl's doing okay up there. Get our artillery firing. Where? Up over there. Sure. Fire down here. Let's go. Fire over here. Let's go. Send these swords in as well. Great swords have become idle. Send them in too. Against those halberds. We should be fine. Doing fine over there. Carl's doing okay. Yeah, he's got, he's got a bit of health left. He'll be okay, I think. Let's go ahead and send Buddy out so he can go into these crossbows over here. The spears. I should perhaps pull them back, actually. Keep them safe. No, don't march into the enemy. You, you, have, you have ranged weapons. Use them from a distance. That's what you're supposed to do. Turn around and shoot. <laughs> God damn. This tower is causing us some trouble. Oh my goodness. Are they seriously going to charge in again? Mike. Okay, you know what? I have only so much patience. Push in. Let's go. Artillery is doing a decent bit of work over here as well. Pull these swordsmen back, perhaps. Fire up there. In comes a charge. Decent hit. Again, the, the towers are doing a lot of work, right? Push in. Down goes the uh, the tower there. These guys have given up, so at least there's that. Fire away over here. Artillery still coming through. Some good hits from the heroes. Oh yeah, some excellent hits from the heroes. Absolutely love it. Get these crossbows down over here and up over here. How are we looking? Carl is still just fine. Still occupied. Pulling down, pulling down. In he comes. Okay, he just literally walked through them there. Not all that impressive. It looks like victory is ours. As long as we don't take any more damage. Too significant. We'd be really upset if we lost too many units in this battle. It would have been entirely my doing. Of course, those Reichsguard especially. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be a little, a little sad. <laughs> more than a little sad. But this should be ours. What do we have here? Alright, let's send these guys in over here. That'll be that, I think. Carl, yeah, finish those guys off. Looks like victories are ours. Looks like army losses might be kicking in. No, not just quite yet. More artillery fire coming through. Why don't we go ahead and fire down over here instead? And once those guns come in range, we'll have an absolute field day. We'll have an absolute field day. In we go. Fire away. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, very good stuff. Love it. Love it. And artillery fire. You coming through? No, they're obstructed, sadly. The gates are ours. These units will falter. Not a chance they'll, they'll stick around and fight. Crossbows are getting a lot of work done as well, of course. Victory is ours. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful victory. I will take it. I will absolutely take it. Now, did we lose? The Reichsguard. I was very careless with them. I, I was thinking I'd do a quick charge there and then pull them right back out, but of course they got clumped in and then they, they weren't able to disengage. And then it turned out there was actually a whole other clump of them elsewhere also engaged that were getting orders in the wrong direction because I was focusing on one clump where the flag was as opposed to the other. Anyway, it is what it is. I really sincerely hope they survived. I would be, I'll be bummed out if we lose them and the Halberdiers in the same, same session. Come on. Hang in there. Hang in there, damn it. I promise I'll be much more careful with you as long as you survived. They pulled out. We, we withdrew them. They managed to make it to the edge of the map after we withdrew them. And so they survived. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it was very tense there. It was very tense there. We actually did not lose any units whatsoever. So that turned out to be rather good for us. Even the spears, who were just left on their own volition, managed to, to, to survive. Really should have paid some more attention to them. But uh, hey, you know what? That, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Victory is ours. Settlement will be occupied, and uh, 
hopefully, hopefully, we will not have too much trouble up north with, uh, with this army coming down south. They're not replenishing. They do have some artillery, so they could hit Marienburg and, and take it right away. I could send Nicholas back. Carl oh, obviously can't make it, but I could send Nicholas back, which is probably a good idea, actually. And uh, have him recruit some units and prepare for the incoming assault, which is almost guaranteed. But folks, we've gone well over the hour mark. My plan was to make these episodes a little bit, you know, shorter. <laughs> so my apologies uh, for going over over and over again but i hope you enjoyed the session if you did you know what to do let me know by hitting that like button down below and perhaps leaving a comment letting me know what you thought about the session as well if you're not yet a subscriber don't hesitate to subscribe again this series will be continuing for quite some time and we'll be having an additional series uh joining in uh with, the, with, with an additional warhammer series joining in in the very near future as well folks as always a a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.